For years, I have urged us to change our cities from car-infested slums to delightful car-free outdoor living rooms. That's a radical change that would affect our whole way of life. Should we really abandon the convenience of the car? The problems with cars are many, and some may even have technical solutions. However, no technology can ever put an end to the terrible intrusion of urban cars. Now consider life in Venice on a September afternoon. Welcome to the gorgeous and peaceful Campo San Giacomo del Orio, a typical square in Venice, a bit bigger than most. A little rain doesn't dampen the enthusiasm of the square's users. Cities exist for many reasons, and among the most important is to provide the social spaces a healthy civilization requires. The presence of even a few cars effectively destroys this function of public spaces. No application of technology can fix this problem. Noise and danger will always spoil the social uses of urban spaces shared with cars. In Venice, however, kids are free to run and play without danger. Parents can relax and chat with neighbors. In most cities, cars get the lion's share of public space, leaving little room for social activity. Venice is an excellent model for car-free cities. It's a sharp contrast to cities infested by cars. Many tourists pass through the square, but this space belongs to the neighborhood. For an hour, I simply filmed what was going on here. People were aware of my presence, but it didn't seem to affect them much. I arrived soon after school let out to find a wide range of locals from babies to old folks. As time passed, more people arrived. Most seemed to know each other. The streets are mostly too narrow for kids to play in, even if they are safe. The squares are used instead as playgrounds. Most squares in Venice are the site of the parish church, seen here on the left. Squares usually have a cafe and a grocery store. Other useful shops are often found as well. The fascination of children with balls and wheels seems to be universal. People are drawn to the local square by their daily needs, but they often linger. Almost everyone passes through every day. The local square thus becomes the social center of the community. The network of safe, calm squares forms a warm hearth for neighborhood social life. The squares thus fill a vital role in sustaining the unique Venetian culture. Any vibrant culture needs a stage. A square burdened with car traffic can never perform this function well. Every healthy society needs public social spaces that function like the squares of Venice. In the U.S., it was once the Grange Hall or the General Store where all the locals gathered. Everyone must be welcome in these places churches are not public spaces. It is for social reasons more than anything else that I urge the establishment of car-free neighborhoods and cities. Any other arrangement must provide equally effective social spaces in which all are welcome and most participate. The American shopping mall is a poor substitute for the downtown centers they destroyed. The European experience shows that car-free squares are a cheap, elegant, and effective answer to this need. The convenience of urban cars simply is not worth the damage they do to our social fabric. <laughs>